about the show is called Interrupting Chicken. Okay, my little chicken. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yes, Papa. But you forgot something. What's that? A bedtime story. All right, all right. I'll read one of your favorites. And of course, you are not going to interrupt the story tonight, are you? Oh, no, Papa. I'll be good. Hansel and Gretel were very hungry. Deep in the woods, they found a house made of candy. Nibble, nibble, nibble. They began to eat the house until the old woman who lived there came out and said, What lovely children! Why don't you come inside? They were just about to follow her when... Uh, out jumped a little red chicken and she said, Don't go in! She wants to eat you. So Hansel and Gretel didn't go in. The end. Chicken? Uh, yes, Papa? You interrupted the story! Try not to get so involved. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Papa. But she really wanted to eat them. Well, you're supposed to be relaxing so you can fall asleep. Uh, let's try another story. I'll be good. Take this basket of goodies to Grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood's mother. But don't stray from the path. The woods are full of danger. Little Red Riding Hood skipped along through the deep woods. By and by, she met a wolf who wished her good morning. She was about to answer him when... Uh, out jumped a little chicken, and she said, Don't talk to strangers. So Little Red Riding Hood didn't. The end. Chicken? Yes, Papa? You did it again. You interrupted two stories. You're not even sleeping. Oh, I know, Papa. I'm sorry, but he was a mean old wolf. I know he was, but you need to get back into bed. Oh, okay, Papa. Let's try one more little story, and I'll be good. Chicken Little was hit on the head by an acorn. The sky is falling, she thought. She was about to run off and warn Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, Penny Penny, and everyone on the farm that the sky was falling down when... Uh, out jumped a little chicken, and she said, Don't panic. It was just an acorn. So Chicken Little didn't. The end. Chicken? Uh, yes, yes, Papa? You did it again! Oh, Papa, I couldn't let that little chicken get all upset over an acorn. Please read one more story, and I'll promise I'll fall asleep. But chicken, we are out of stories. Oh no, Papa, I can't go to sleep without a story. Then, why don't you tell me a story? Me tell a story? Okay, Papa, here goes. Um, once there was a little chicken who put her Papa to bed. She read him a hundred stories. She even gave him warm milk, but nothing worked. He stayed wide awake all 